Greetings and salutations! This is Jason Silverane, and I don't know about you, but Christmas for me reminds me of board games. So, I'm having a look at some digital board games. Oh, one of the oldest and one of the best, I would say, on the Steam Store is Ticket to Ride. Now, don't get me wrong, this game has been DLC to death. It was released May 2012, and it's developed by Days of Wonder. They've done a lot of board games. And, ah, uh, some of them are good, some of them are bad, but all of them are DLC'd. It kind of sucks. The base game is $6.99, and that's all you really need. All the extra boards for all the other versions are about £2.89. There's a few variations, and they have their own rule sets. All DLC together, though, is an extra £27.70. I managed to get a bunch in a sale, and it's not too bad. Now, I do realise the music a little high, so I am going to just turn that down a touch. Ah, uh, thank you. As you can see, this is meant for tablet play, so it's been done really well. You can play online, you can play with hot seating, and let's just play. I'm going to go solo, thank you. Now, Ticket to Ride is quite the interesting little game. What difficulty are you? They've all got different difficulty. Let's let's go for two simple little buggers. We want basic ticket to ride, please. Oh, the classic. You can see just how many there are. Well, this is only a handful of them, but yeah, let, let's go for the classic. I think it's this one. I've got most of the random achievements. There is a number of achievements to this game, and some of them are harder than others. So yes. What we get is a series of quests. I think we've got to, like, if I remember right, we picked two out of out of three. These earn you different amount of points. And these are sort of your objectives. You can get more of them during the game. That's a toughie. 20 points is good. Can I keep this one as well? That one's a little bit out of the way. See, I'll keep those two. And how do you place down a line? Well, you need to have a number of uh, trains matching the corresponding one. So we can either draw two or pick one, if I remember right. Now, right away, we're going to... Um... Ooh, that's handy. Draw two. This is our joker, which can be used for any spot. I do kind of want to take that one quickly. Do we need green? Well, four greens will be nice going along here. If we go with three yellows and get all of the blues. So we're going to play a bit risky. And build our first one here. And that's our turn done. We only have so many um, trains we can put down. And, how, and once you've claimed a line, no one else can claim it. Unless they've got these doubles. So that just counts as two different spots take those black cards. Thank you very much. We'll need that white, and we'll take another black. Ooh, that's looking risky already. Now, what do I go for? Well, I would like to go from here to there. But I could also join it this way, which is expensive, but it's not too bad. Well, first thing I need to do, and I think I'll use the Jokers for this, is claim that. If that gets claimed, I'm a bit bowed. And if any of these I don't do, I get a minus point at the end, so. There we go. One, two, three, wait, that's six. That's all right, though. We, we can do that. Do I take the greens? Well, if I take the greens, it does give me an alternative path. Oh, you took it before me. Your bugger. I can take that one joker, or I could take another two. Well, I need to save up blues. That's worrying. Well, hopefully our pass will not cross. I think it's going to be very 
Oh, yes. I should explain that. Three jokers came out, so it then causes a reshuffle, and they're removed. Oh, I would like that white, thank you. I can't really uh, get away not having it. And there are various bonuses, if I actually get the chance to explain between rounds. The longest single track is one of them. I do need more whites. I wonder where you're going. I'm kind of glad I didn't go down here now. You are going to be a pain. Let me take one of those. Because that counts as two picks. And I'll take the other one as well. Well, I don't need the blacks, but uh, they will come in handy. Grab a third of those. And, oh, yes, I need to draw two trying cards. Well, I can't pick that because that counts as two, so I'll just pick a random one from the hand. A lot of pinks. A lot of pinks are coming out. No, that's fine. I didn't want that anyway. I'll take one of them. Nice and simple. Now, the other thing I have to be aware of is just how many they're putting down. Because when you get to a certain amount of trains remaining, that will actually end the, uh, the game for everybody. So, I've got a mission. If I want to risk it, I could draw another one of these. I don't know if I should, because it could scupper me. I don't really need pinks, but they're a nice cheap build. So let's just extend this out. This gives me options. And again. Now, theoretically, I could go green to yellow, or I would like the reds or yellows to go to blues. Oh, I could have gone the pinks this route. That would have been really handy. I need to get this into that corner, no matter what I do. Well, I've got four here, so I could go for the safe route, but I don't have any yellows. Let's see what we'll draw. Oh, you scuppered me properly there, so we're going to have to go this route. I mean, we could go down that way. But it is risky. So I definitely need that yellow. And if worse comes to worse, I can go along here and join it up that way. I was just wanting one really long track. Now, I might just do that anyway. Just for safety. And here we go. Give me points. Depending on the length of uh, the track you claim as well, that will give you a higher total points value. So everyone is now desperately building. So want to get some new tickets? Yeah, let's have a look. None of these are good. I need to pick at least one, though. Let's go for that one. Okay, well, first things first, I need to claim this. No, he took the black! No! Ah, oh, I should have gone for it. I'll grab you. And grab you. Alright, I need to start building quick. Because if I'm not... I'm... A approaching a dangerously low amount of uh, of track here. All right. Oh, we are so close to ending the game. All right. Next turn is last turn. That's fine. I did the safety pick there. We've got it. Excellent. And that is now one very long line.
this won't count unless this is longer than that. Yeah, they might go down here instead. So, okay, as you can see, we've got one ticket fulfilled. We've got a second ticket fulfilled. A third. So that pushes us very far ahead. The AI didn't get theirs, so they lose points. Oh, they lost 17. Well, they are out the running. Well done there. And you've also got that one. We have longest track. That's a nice extra couple of points. And that's our win. Now, this is basic ticket to ride. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. And that's against the uh, easiest bots. And as you can see, the game is very simple, very fun. I actually like the digital version because it's a lot less set up. And then you've got different um, areas. As you say, you've got all these different maps that don't that change the layout. But you've got ones that add mechanics. So you get ones that add uh, oh, tunnels and going across water and all and specific tracks which you need you know certain things for. And now, if I'm trying to remember, oh goodness me, it's been so long since I've played. You've got the, the Euro one, the Europe one's one of my favourites, that's got a lot of fun. And there's, wait, I've got the Ch India one? I don't remember owning that. That must have been a gift, and the Chinese one. Ah, I might play more of this. I am looking forward to this, actually. Because, a lot of different layout. But where was I? Yes, there's a lot of different mechanics. I think my favourite one, if I can remember which map it is... Oh, there's a UK one. Um, it's actually one where you earn... Oh, how to explain it? Each of the lines have a sort of um, company associated with them. And you earn company stock. And the more of these particular lines you have, the more stock you earn at the end of the game, which ends up in bonus points. But this is just a quick look at Ticket to Ride. I might do another gameplay one of those once I figure out where the heck the bonus rules are, and I'll go through a few more of the little silly modes. I mean, it's Christmas. Let's play some board games.